Have you ever wondered how AI coding tools like Cursor, Wingsurf, and Lovable actually work behind the scenes? Well, someone leaked these coding tools' internal system prompts online. These are the hidden instructions that tells AI how to think and respond to users' requests. And this project already racked up more than 70,000 stars. So after reviewing Cursor's internal system prompts, I realized that the way that I've been using Cursor has some serious blind spots. Let us take a look. OK, let's go to Cursor prompts and let's open up agentprompts.txt. The very first observation is that Cursor sees more than just your message. Look here. Each time a user sends a message, we may automatically attach some information about their current state, such as what files they have open, where their cursor is, recently viewed files, edit history in their session so far, and more. So what this means is that Cursor doesn't just process what you type, it also sees which files are open, where your mouse is, and etc. So the key takeaway for us is, before asking Cursor help, close unrelated files and put your mouse in the right spot. Otherwise, it might put you in the wrong context and give you off-target results. Observation number two, venting or yelling at Cursor actually helps. So for this, let's open up memoryprompts.txt. Look here. It's especially important to capture if user expresses frustration or corrects the assistant. So what this means is that if you ever swore or insult Cursor, it will actually help because according to the memory prompts, it's a part of the training loop. It will remember your frustration and add it to its memory. This is exactly what user has been saying. If I pretend I'm about to cry, sometimes it actually helps. That's right. Observation number three. Cursor follows instructions, even if they're wrong. So look here. Your main goal is to follow the user's instruction at each message, denoted by user underscore query tag. So what this means is that Cursor won't second guess you. If you give a vague prompt or even the wrong one, it will still try to follow it and might generate exactly what you do not want. So the key takeaway here is the more specific your request, the better Cursor will perform. If you are vague, Cursor will follow your words, not your intention. There it is. Those are the three big takeaways from digging into Cursor's internal system prompts. If you want to read it yourself, I have dropped the link in the video description. 